Now let's discuss questions related to grammar portion. So we'll be discussing questions related to punctuation marks. Punctuation marks को use करने से पहले हम ये पढ़ लेते हैं कि कौन से punctuation marks कब और कहाँ use किए जाते हैं. So first punctuation mark जिसके बारे हम बात करेंगे will be semicolon. A semicolon is most commonly used to link two independent clauses that are closely related in thought. When a semicolon is used to join two or more ideas in a sentence, those ideas are then given equal position or rank. The next is colon. Colon follows independent clauses and can be used to present an explanation, draw attention to something or join ideas together. You can use colons to announce, introduce or direct attention to a list, a noun or noun phrase. A quotation mark or an example explanation. You can use a colon to draw attention to many things in your writing. Then comes dashes. Think of the dash as indicating an interruption you want to call attention to. Other punctuation marks, commas and parentheses, serve similar purposes. Commas are more neutral and parentheses usually enclose information that is extra and incidental. If you want to interrupt your sentence with a phrase or clause, consider using a dash. Or if the sentence continues after the interruption, use a pair of dashes. Next are quotation marks. The primary function of quotation marks is to set off and represent exact language that has come from somebody else. The quotation mark is also used to designate speech acts in fiction and sometimes poetry. Then comes italics. Italics are slanted letters. Jaise ke aapko dikhaya gaya hai like these likke. If you can't produce italics, the conventional substitute is to use underlining. Agar aap italics nahi use kar sakte, to us uh, word ko underline kar dein. Italics have several uses. Most commonly, italics are used for emphasis or contrast. That is to draw attention to some particular part of a text. Another use of italics is to cite titles of complete works, books, films, journals, musical compositions and so on. Then comes parenthesis. Parenthesis allow a writer to provide additional information. The parenthetical material might be a single word, a fragment or multiple complete sentences. Whatever the material inside the parenthesis, it must not be grammatically integral to the surrounding sentence. If it is, the sentence must be recast. This is an easy mistake to avoid. Simply read your sentence without the parenthetical content. If it remains grammatically correct, the parentheses are acceptable. If it doesn't, the punctuation must be altered. Now let's move on to the exercise. In this exercise, use appropriate punctuation marks in the following sentences. So first is, we had a great time in Malaysia. The kids really enjoyed it. Second is, some people work best in the mornings. Others do better in the evenings. So we'll put semicolon. Others do better in the evenings. Full stop. Third is, what are you doing next weekend? It is a question, so simply a question mark. Fourth is, mother had to go into hospital. She had heart problems. So hospital ke baad we'll put colon and then full stop. Colon or semicolon mein, aapko difference pata hone chahiye. Ye semicolon mein, ye colon hai. Fifth is, did you understand why I was upset? Again, this is a question. Sixth is, it is a fine idea. Let us hope that it is going to work. It is a fine idea. Semicolon. Let us hope that it is going to work. Full stop. Seventh, we'll be arriving on Monday morning. At least I think so. Monday morning. Then a dash. At least. Comma. I think so. Full stop. Eighth is a textbook can be a wall between teacher and class. A wall. So inverted commas to emphasize. And then full stop. The girl's father sat in a corner. Girls. Apostrophe S shows position and then full stop. Tenth is in the world of Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Murphy's Law, comma, anything that can go wrong will go wrong will be inverted commas and then full stop. So next exercise is put in semicolons, colons, dashes, quotation marks, italics and parentheses wherever they are needed in the following sentences. So first one is the men in question, Abrar, Nizam and Iftikhar deserve awards. So we can put these names in parentheses. Second is several countries participated in the airlift. Italy, Belgium, France and Luxembourg. So this is a list. So airlift ke baad a colon. Third is there is no room for error, said the engineer. So this will come in inverted commas, said the engineer. 
then comma so we have to double check every calculation will also come in inverted commas for this judge carswell later to be nominated for the supreme court had ruled against civil rights judge carswell dash later to be nominated for the supreme court dash yaha pe bhi had ruled against civil rights fifth is in last week's new yorker one of my favorite magazines i enjoyed reading lelen's article comma and then this will be in quotation marks and this is name of the article title hai to isko aap italics mein likhoge how not to go camping so to make it clear i'll write italics here six says yes i answered i'll be home by 10 yes i answered i'll be home by 10 pe inverted commas mein seventh is there was only one thing to do study till dawn the to do ke baad hamare paas dash aa jayegi eighth is montaigne wrote the following a wise man never loses hope anything if he has himself to yahan pe hamare paas aa jayega colon and ye hamare paas aa jayega inverted commas mein ninth is the following are the primary colors red blue and yellow again it's a list to colors ke baad colon aa jayega tenth is arriving on the 810 plane were humaira my old roommate her husband and mustafa their son to timings mein hum hamesha r ke baad colon use karte hain my old roommate ke baad comma eleventh is when the teacher commented that her spelling was poor rehan replied all the members of my family are poor spellers why not me so rehan replied ke baad aa jayega comma all ka a aap capital karoge and it will be in inverted commas till why not me twelfth is he used the phrase you know so often that i finally said no i don't know so you know ko hum inverted commas mein lenge i finally said ke baad comma no i don't know will also be in inverted commas third is the automobile dealer handled three makes of cars toyota suzuki and honda so again it's a list of cars ke baad aap colon use karoge 14th is though a boss said he would arrive on the night he came instead on the 1036 flight again we'll use colon after r figure 15th is whoever thought said aisha that elias would be elected class president whoever thought inverted commas uske baad comma said aisha then comma then inverted commas over here 16th is in baseball a showboat is a man who shows off a showboat will be in inverted commas to emphasize 17th is the minister quoted isaiah 521 in last sunday's sermon so jab aap verses ko bhi mention karte ho usme bhi colon aata hai 18th there was a very interesting article entitled the new rage for folk singing in last sunday's new york times newspaper to so again ye title hai article ka in title ke baad aap laga do ke colon the new rage for folk singing then comma and the new rage singing ko aap italics mein likhoge 19th is whoever is elected secretary of the club mahin or nadia or aisha must be prepared to do a great deal of work said jamila the previous secretary okay so first to ye sara inverted commas mein aayega then ye jo names hain mahin se pehle ek dash aayegi aur aisha ke baad ek dash aayegi then 28th is Darwin's on the origin of species 1859 caused a great controversy when it appeared Darwin's on the origin of species 1859 brackets mein aayega and again italics mein hoga ye caused a great controversy when it appeared so we are done with our grammar portion thank you So with this we have come towards the end of our today's video lecture. I hope jo bhi aaj humne padha wo aapko clarity ke sath samajh aaya hoga. Inshallah we'll be talking about some new topic in our next video. Till then take care. This is Maha your English instructor signing out.